to a, another commentary done by Davey. This is going to be the North American team battle from August 28th, 12 o'clock location. We have Gypsy starting as the White Terran, bottom left-hand corner. We have Hawk starting as the Yellow Zerg. This is going to be on Ascension and Gypsy, a strong player to field first. I'll actually... Realizing I forgot to look what the teams were, but I'll get you guys the teams in game two. Look for it there. Check out Hawk at Hawk SC on Twitch. And of course, Gypsy at Gypsy93 on Twitch as well. Gypsy also has a YouTube channel. I think Hawk actually has some tutorials out there for Zerg play as well. I know that he had a Mutalist, I believe he had a Mutalist Micro tutorial back in the day. He's got pretty strong Mutalist Micro overall. These are, and again, I want to iterate that these are the top players in North America. Gypsy, I'm going to favor in this match overall just because his his TVZ has been so strong recently. And I actually want to see if he goes for that Engineering Bay opener once again. The last match we saw, which was, I don't know, four games ago in the previous set of team battles, it was just a ferocious match back and forth between these two guys. And honestly, Hawk made it a fantastic game of it. Gypsy, see, I just feel like that, that plus one when you can pull it off, that level one weapon, that early level one weapons upgrade against the current Mutalisk, Thing. I'm wondering if that's just going to become standard meta from now. It seems like the biggest, newest shift, and particularly when you get a front door seal, the thing that really throws Zerg off balance. On Ascension, we've seen a lot of Terran go for a drop play because it is kind of a larger, more wide open map. It looks like Gypsy not going for a front door seal this time is placing this barracks, uh, kind of not even a front door seal near his front. I'm wondering if this is indicative of him maybe opting to be a little bit more aggressive overall. More often you'll see kind of, you know, something along those lines. We are seeing a 12th hatch from Hawk, and it looks like Gypsy is going to go ahead and get, I think that Overlord might have seen that SCV. I'm not sure. But we'll see if this SCV is going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, it's going to go ahead and find the 12th hatch from Hawk in the opposite corner. Hawk grabbing his gas a little bit early at the 203 mark. But Gypsy just assuming, I'm wondering if this has to do with playing against Hawk or not, but just assuming, he's like, you know what, you're going to go 12th hatch, you don't have to worry about 9 pool or anything along those lines, comparatively. Looks like that Overlord scouting that front door corner, the drone scout moving out, did he miss it? I'm wondering if Hawk missed it, because I think, maybe this was the play, he's like, I'm not going to put my barracks out here, so that if an Overlord scouts out, he's not going to, I don't I don't know if that was the mind games or not. I don't think that's the case, that would be incredibly meta, by the, by the way. So Overlord's just going to hang out above that corner. This drone scout making its way to the upper right. And honestly, with this Marine in place, I don't know that Hawk's going to get a scout off. Command Center plopping down in response after just a single Marine in response to this 12 hatch. So very similar to their previous match. Now that drone kind of doing the womp womp and yeah, not finding anything in that corner. And it looks like it is going to be able to psych around. And the question is, is it, is it even going to see this Command Center? quickly because the second marine should be in place and with a decent amount of micro and actually if it presses up to this gap so the overlord moving forward as well hawk could end up in the dark against a lot of this initially moving that overlord forward realizing there might be some more marines and starting to back off he's kind of in a spot of uh, definitely in a, a disadvantage as far as the information game goes he is mutating layers it looks like he is going to go for that two hatch play bring this drone back let's see if he goes for the standard quick third but yeah and actually not even going to bother to try to press into that natural expansion so he's basically playing in the dark at this stage of things. We are seeing that Engineering Bay build once again. So Engineering Bay before Academy off a single barracks. So look for that barracks. I think you have to cut SCVs. Uh, actually, don't quote me on this. I'm not sure if you need to cut SCVs or not, but the bar this barracks needs to stay lit to keep those Marines producing in the meantime. We are seeing that level one, one weapons in the interim because you are going a little bit lighter on barracks, getting that Engineering Bay uh, a little bit more rapidly to deal with this. Zergling speed being upgraded. There are four Zerglings on the ground. Looks like that um, SCV, is it going to get, actually interrupting that Spire for a few seconds. <laughs> and I don't know, I think that was incidental. So things going right for Gypsy all the way around. The one thing you do have to worry about, I believe, ooh, drone getting a nice kill, is you have to worry a bit about Ling Floods comparatively. Not sure why he's saying comparatively a lot recently. Bunker at that natural expansion, it does have four Marines in it. And I think Gypsy well aware of that. So he's going to go ahead and drop his supply depot. Try to clog up this natural expansion. This is just, you end up with fewer Marines because you're working with a few fewer barracks. So it is possible that basically Zorglings can flood and just wipe you out from there. Natural expansion grabbing a second gas. There is a third base. This feels a little bit later than usual in that bottom right hand corner about the five o'clock location. The Zerglings trying to push through, see if they can find any 
angles or rooms to harass those SCVs, not quite able to do so. So Hawk's going to have to rely on Mutalus Micro. Stim is already upgrading. Two additional barracks now being plopped down, and you've got that Stim soon to be followed by the range. Uh, weapons 1 about halfway finished, and this is just before that Spire is even uh, in place. So it looks like this is going to be very similar to that previous match. So a few fewer Marines to get it done, but Gypsy was able to get it done before. And actually able to get a, a sneak a medic or two. And I'm almost wondering if he, with what he's got, he's actually going to charge these Zerglings at the front and try to force Hawk to play out out in the open and dedicate his mules to his medic marine ball, even though they're not going to have range and level one weapons uh, in place. Or uh, to try to keep his missile turret count a little bit lower. He is getting some missile turrets in the back corner. That might be a little bit over aggressive and a little bit suicidal, to be honest. So I take that back. He is just going to go ahead and sit in this back corner with the medic marines he has. This is kind of the dangerous moments, is before level one weapons come online. It looks like those mutalists are making their way out. So it's fewer turrets, range is not quite there yet. The, I think that the delay in that spire was actually decently significant though, because that's buying more time for that level one weapons to come in range. Hawk trying to find a soft spot to engage, but this is pretty well turreted up. Keep in mind this is with fewer, a smaller medic marine ball than typical because of that just single barracks. But thus far, the mule is not able to find much, able to get one SCV in that supply depot. The Marines pressing forward and pushing those mules back. Just five mules up in the air. Level one weapons is being upgraded. A very quick and actually interesting play here from Hawk. I think he's, he clicked on those Marines, looked for the weapons one. He does have level one weapons working on the Spire, but he is, and he is opting to build additional uh, mutalisks, but he went ahead and got that queen's nest, his evolution chamber, and armor one going before anything else. The zerglings getting cleared out of that front, Gypsy starting to press forward with his marine ball. And I'm almost wondering, upon seeing a fewer number of mutalisks out in the air, and just six instead of the typical eight at this stage of the match, if he's going to opt to be more aggressive. There are no creep colonies here on the front door just yet. And the Marines doing a pretty good job stimming and pressing forward. And honestly, Gypsy's getting a lot of ground. These mules here, are they going to end up getting cut off? No, okay. Nice job on Hawk to, to pull these back. So this is now at nine mutalisks to try to engage this medic marine ball. Three more mutalisks to, to go a full 12. But Hawk seems a lot faster with the hive this time. Halfway, hive about halfway finished. Already another mule is getting picked off. And a third looking very, very... So back down to eight. So one picked off, a second... Very, very weak, and another one a little bit thin. Gypsy with a supply lead again with these medic, these level one weapons marines, and Hawk really cannot harass Gypsy at this stage of things. Gypsy going to go ahead and grab that double starport and press his way from here. Another Mulesk, and yet another two Mulesk picked off, and just, I love this. I love this play, and, and Gypsy doing a good job of melting them. And Hawk, keep in mind, Hawk does not have bad Mulesk micro. I think that's just the power of having this level one weapon at this stage of the match. It looks like Gypsy's starting to press towards this third. This should force, honestly, two sunken colonies. And Gypsy, with what standing, could maybe even bust this. He's a big, at, at the very least, Hawk's going to have to dedicate units or something to deal with this. He's already trying to get his Ultralisk Cavern up. And Gypsy just diving in before that sunken colony's even in place. Eight mules to try to engage this. And yeah, I think these creep colonies aren't in time. Not a lot of focus fire from Gypsy, though, on either the sunken colony or the hatchery. Now starting to micro this a little bit, and that sunken colony is going to get wiped out. And so Hawk... Is that second sunken colony? Second sunken colony should get wiped out as well. So Gypsy might end up losing this medic marine ball, but he's going to take out a significant amount of mutalisks, potentially, in this engage. Another Mutalist going down. And Hawk being forced, honestly, to engage with these Mutalists over that Medic Marine Ball. Let's see if Gypsy can actually pull it out. And he's happy to do... So he doesn't... He's not able to take out the Extractor, but he was able to delay a lot of economy, force a lot of units to be built. He chewed through a lot of Mutalists. Otherwise, and he's got both Starports up. And a bunch of... Looks like he's actually gone for a Machine Shop. So he's maybe getting Seed Shank. Perhaps to deal with the earlier Ultralisks. Because Hawk really pushed that Ultralisk Cavern. But let's see if Hawk... And he was able to preserve this gas. 
lost a few drones in dropping the sunk colonies. I don't think any additional drones got picked off, but let's see if Hawk, now that he has this third gas, can get the gas he's looking for to go ahead and have a competent army of Ultralists out in the field to go ahead and deal with what Gypsy's fielding. Gypsy moving out with additional Marines. Irradiate, still not fully researched, so these Mulesks are going to be valuable. Carapace, or Chitinus Plating, is upgrading in the background. Hawk doing what he does and picking off stragglers very, very well with some nice Mutalist Micro in the backfield. But a second bunker down, just in case. A lot of barracks being filtered in. It looks like actually there was a cancel on that machine shop and that factory being lifted off. So it is going to just be Science Vessel play to push things from here. And Hawk, yeah, sitting on three gas. It looks like he is going to be able to get... I think he's going to get yeah, these Ultralists fielded. So finding what he needs to get into the mid game. Gypsy still with the supply count lead. Hawk's economy still sitting at about 36 drones, so behind Gypsy overall. I think Gypsy is in a place where he can go ahead and potentially, once he has these science vessels out and gets uh, a few additional upgrades, where he should feel a little bit more comfortable grabbing an additional base. Bioball moving back towards this third. Mulesks again moving across this, the reinforcement line and able to pick off more Marines as they're coming across, looking for the science vessel. Here's the other thing is the science vessels are not... Never mind, they're ahead. So they are with this grouping. Three something colonies down and a fourth one being dropped. No Nidus Canal here to provide additional defense for Hawk, though. So the Medic Marine's just going to go ahead and dive into this. One something colony down, second something colony down. The Mutalisks is being irradiated, but here come the Ultralisks as well. But with the irradiates, is it going to be enough? And those Ultralisks getting wiped out very, very rapidly. This hatchery taken out by Gypsy. And that is going to be it. Hawk loses that third gas. Now he's in all sorts of trouble. Gypsy is showing why. Yeah, his his TVC is so strong right now. Just absolutely brutal. Even in this set of team battles, you can just see we're just like really kicked up a notch. A couple additional Ultralists is going to go ahead and push in. They don't have level 4 Carapace as of yet. And level 2 weapons is not that far away. And again, Hawk is just sitting at two gas. It looks like there are a handful of Marines that are going to go ahead and get picked off by these Mulesks overhead because there's, I think, a decent amount of micro in those science vessels. Uh, not able to drop an irradiate just yet. Now they're pushing in. There's the irradiate on that grouping. Nice micro on Hawk to try to preserve, but these are very, very weak Mulesks otherwise. The only reason he's able to preserve them right here, actually, second Medic Marine Ball moving up. Mutalisk almost instantly dying and more science vessels regrouping. So Hawk in trouble. He's at two bases. I don't think he has map control to go ahead and take a third. He's going to try to take a naked expansion in that bottom right and just hope Gypsy can't get there to take care of it. He's about half the supply of Gypsy. Gypsy continuing to flood out the Medic Marines. Level 2 weapons is going to kick in momentarily. Actually just trying to allow the Radiates to do their thing and backing off from the rest of these Ultralisks. And he's just, yeah, he's kind of patiently playing this and whittling down these attack forces, walking his units back, and... Effectively, what he's kind of doing is just trying to chew into the gas that's playing there. Losing this Medic Marine Ball. Actually losing a lot of Medics in this grouping. A little bit of an overextension. Still six Mutalists out in the air somehow. But this is a big Science Vessel fleet that is growing and starting to move out. The Mules look like they are going to be able to pick off... Maybe able to able to pick off one Science Vessel. But the rest of those Mutalists have been wiped out. And I think that is going to be basically all she wrote from these Mutalists. So it's just kind of a... Little bit of an attack force from Hawk. Hawk trying to desperately hold on at this stage of the match, but the science vessels continue to fleet to flood forward. And the ultra a, a nice defense matrix right there on that forward marine. The ultralisks just don't have enough to stand right here. Level two weapons is now there. Level four carapace did come online, but this is so many medic marines and so many science vessels honestly overhead. Gypsy can go ahead and take his fourth base and press into Hawk while this is happening. Hawk has that base in the bottom right, but is down to twenty true. Somehow, and I'm, I'm wondering if I missed an eraser here, down to 21 drones overall. He's also trying to take the 6 o'clock base, so he's trying to make a run at this, but Gypsy is in firm control of this match as things are moving into the mid-game. He's got all sorts of barracks that are absolutely humming. He's going to go ahead and grab his command center. He's such a, a throttle, a death throttle with his map control. These science vessels just hunting down. This is almost kind of funny. It's like elephants running away from airplanes right here. But, uh, ooh, Scourge are going to catch, looks like, a Science Vessel and weaken a second. But still, yeah, the Science Vessel's just hunting for those Ultralisks, able to wipe them out. Hawk finally reestablishing. So this is how many minutes later? It feels like almost five minutes later, finally establishing that third gas once again. The 6 o'clock base 
to try to be a fourth gas to contend with what Gypsy's throwing out there. A bunch of creep colonies now on that front door. But Gypsy's happy to just... Ooh, more science levels is going to be picked off. But Gypsy, honestly, I think is happy to go ahead and sit, take out the 6 o'clock base. He can probably take that, that bottom right at leisure. Unless Anitis gets up there. Hawk's still not mining there quite yet, but this is a big medic marine ball. It looks like he's going to try to just walk through these something colonies. Now that Hawk doesn't have enough gas to really push through and produce additional Ultralisk, additional, and actually try to skip Lurker in between. I should actually point that out in this build order. Ultralisk can't get through this gap because, or have trouble getting through this gap because it is Ascension, so they're eating a lot of radiate damage before they're peeling in. And they're dying before those creep, before they're able to join the Sunken Colonies. This Ultralisk is going to get wiped out, and that natural expansion is breached. This should be GG from Hawk. But yeah, just the entire match, you could just see Gypsy's strength in his ZV, or in his TV uh, Z. I know he's played a little bit at Zerg uh, recently, I think, to get a better idea of this matchup. But it just feels like Hawk was just a step behind this entire match. And actually, I'm reading that comment in chat, so I'm glad people are in agreement with me on that. Yeah, Gypsy, even it looked like he tried to skip that Lurker tech in between. Gypsy read it and was able to press in and do a lot of damage uh, as a result of it. And just, yeah, great play overall, I got to say. Gypsy's looking like a beast these days. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.